In the gospel, right? The New Testament as we have it today, or the, or the gospel accounts as we have it today, they were not given to Jesus. And again, making a distinction. In which was guidance and light and confirmation of the Torah that had come before it. A guidance and, admo uh, and, and admin admonition what was, for what the pious. Was the gospel? What was the good news that Allah gave Jesus? We have it here. We have remnants of it in the Quran. We'll, and we'll find out in a bit. So Allah... Because, because there's no... But, but the, is there any historical evidence of so, this book so the thing, Jew? Yeah, I mean, the, the Gospel of Matthew in of itself... Yeah. Now we preach the Gospel, the good news. Yeah. But what was it? So, well, that was the scroll of Isaiah that he opens at, at the synagogue. No, that, that's the Torah. He, he says, that's, that's yeah, yeah, no, but this is Jesus. Yeah. He, he opens the scroll of Isaiah at the synagogue and says, I come to bring good news to the poor, to set the downtrodden yeah. free, to give sight to the blind. That's the good news. Right. That's what he's but this is, do. But this is the thing. The Quran tells us what the, what the good news was. And, you know, first and foremost, it was Tawheed. Always. That's why he affirms the, the, uh, the Shema. That's the good news. To follow him, right? And, and as, as documented in the, um, in the New Testament as well, it's uh, to don't follow those who are strayed, who have become hypocrites and stuff, follow me, right? Through me, you're going to get to the Father, right? You're going to get to salvation. Um, and, that's, and that's all it is really. Yeah, Every which is, which single is different, that no, is like different from the good news that, that we as Christians because the good news Sorry. is the scroll that, that Jesus opened. No, but that's not the good news. No, the free. good news. Surely that's the good news for all the people. No, it's not because he came only for the children of Israel. But, but so they're the, going to be free from, from their prison, the prison of, of, of disbelief, if you like it. Okay. Yeah? Well, yes. Yes, so, so, so that's what Jesus says. Yeah. Come to set the but, free, the but Allah free, taught him the Torah. Sight to the yeah. blind. Allah taught him the Torah. Yeah. Yeah. Allah taught him the the, the Torah. And the wisdom, right? As he mentioned, what hikmah, right? He, he, so he utilized these to teach, to bring the children of Israel back to what they used to believe in. But he was also given the Injil, in which had slight changes to the Mosaic law. Hence it being a new covenant. That was the new covenant. We, we, we have a slightly different understanding. You say to, to bring the Jews back. It wasn't, it was to bring the Jews forward, to bring them to fulfill the covenant. Because um, Jeremiah criticized the Jews because they only have the no, law. No, when I say back, back to the straight path. Yeah, yeah, That's they, what I mean. they only have the law written and everything for them is very transactional. It should be written on your heart. That's, that's what Jeremiah oh, that's tells and that's what Jesus tells. No, Je so, the book of Jeremiah doesn't talk about just that. It talks about the action of the limbs yeah, 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 and yeah, everything. Yeah. By your logic, Shouldn't you as a Christian adhere to the Mosaic Law, the 630? No, 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 no
because the tradition of the elders, like the Pharisees, they distorted it. No. So it's not it's not like Jesus no. is completely um, abrogating the Mosaic law. No. He's reinstating what is supposed to be understood the Mosaic law. Yeah. Yeah. Hence why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, He taught him the Torah. Taught him the Torah. That, yeah. what, that yeah. came before him exactly. and not what was be with them. So I, I'm, I'm still yeah. waiting for what good news did Jesus preach? If He just came yeah. to fulfill the Torah, which we already know. Yeah. But it's just, yeah. Well, the thing is, it's the scroll of Isaiah. It's not just the scroll, it's not just the good news to bring, bring uh, the good news to the poor, to set the downtrodden free, to give sight to the blind. But isn't that the job of the prophets, the Jewish prophets? No, that, 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 that's what, yeah, that's what they, they will recognize the Messiah is doing. So what's, what, what's, the, what's the different, has the theological message changed from Moses' time up to his time? The theological message did not change. So what's no. the different news? What, what's the good news? The, the good news is, is that this must come from your heart. <laughs> From, from your repentance, not like, see, with, with the Jews, this is why Jesus uh, picks up the Pharisees when they say about your, uh, your disciples not washing their hands before they eat. This is all transactional stuff. This is, this is just disciplines for you as a person yeah. to, ma to make sure. It doesn't mean your heart's clean, just because your hands are clean. salvation, is it anything different to what Moses taught? But Moses, yeah, the, the, so the Lord Moses uh, was taken by the Jews and set as a transactional way. So they didn't accept it into their heart. Excuse me. Into their hearts. Just trying to find this verse as well. For you. Right. So you still have to follow the letter of the law under the old covenant. Remember, we've got two covenants. But are you following the letter of the law? Under the new covenant, we're following the letter of Jesus. Well. The new covenant is, is the, um, the the gospel, the good news that Jesus brings. That he he, he sacrificed. But what is different from Mosaic? Well, because he was the, the ultimate sacrifice. So under the Mosaic law, you had all rules. <laughs> your mates back again. <laughs> um, under the uh, Mosaic law, you had all sorts of rules about the sacrifice to atone for your sins. Okay. So all okay. those all those sacrifices were never perfect because they were transactional. A Jew would do something wrong, he would come and bring his sacrifice, but so oh, that's it, I'm clear. But the theology of the crucifixion exactly. is exactly the same, it's, it's transactional. Exactly. transactional. But, but, but that's Jesus doing the perfect sacrifice. It wasn't one, perfect one though. It was, yeah. No, no. Yeah, that's what we believe. The, the I know that's what you believe. But the problem is that the sacrifice of Jesus was to be a mirror, uh, and yes, the final sacrifice, but he was meant to mirror the Jewish sacrifi sacrificial right. rites. Yeah. It did not follow any of the sacrificial rites. Uh, the, the, so how the could you feel yeah. the Mosaic yeah, yeah. It didn't. How, yeah, could so you, how could you feel the Mosaic law if, if it's a different uh, sacrifice? Because remember, according to the Gospel of John, Jesus described as the Lamb of God. Yeah. So you know that it's a symbolic. It's not like yeah. Jesus had four legs, no. etc. But the so, Lamb of God should have been unblemished. It should be unblemished, exactly. Right? Yeah. Which is why Pilate three times says, "I can find no fault with this man." That's not the unble unblemishment of, yeah, the, yeah, of, of the of the animal. The it, animal of itself. The, the, the Jews, of course, are saying that he's blemished because they want to bring charges against him. But when Pilate, when he comes before Pilate, before the authority, Pilate says three times, "I can find no fault with this so man. Why do you want me to kill him? Let me just have him flogged and sent out." Then why did why did it, yeah? But the thing is, again, let's look at the history. How can Pilate, a judge of the Roman Empire, be seduced or convinced by a people uh, by a people? that the Roman Empire looked down upon yeah. and, and, and shunned right. to the farthest edges of the empire. So if you're a general in, in the Roman, Roman Empire yes. and you suddenly hear that there's this man who's there in the wilderness has crowds of 5,000 people with him. It's nothing. You start worrying. Yes, you do, because, because an insurrection can start with a few. In, in these cities... What about have, Barabbas? In these cities in those days, yeah. you only needed a few people. Okay, look, the, let's look at... Fail. No, but let's look at the trial, okay? So what, would he want another uh, insurrection? No, no, but that's, but that's the thing. We we're talking about the worry of insurrection by the Roman Empire. And we talk about Jesus, this, the, you know, uh, Jesus of Nazareth, he's standing trial. Pilate says, I've got, I've got no issues with this guy. He's not a rebel. He's not a threat to the Roman Empire. In fact, he's completely innocent. But then he's got this guy who's actually standing. He's a convicted, well-known. Uh, rebel against the Roman Empire, and then he gives the option to the people. He was known to be notorious. Yeah, and he gives the option to the people. So who do you, you know who do you want us? Who? Barabbas. No, uh, to How be honest, was it? we're not told in history. We're not. We're not told in history. So an insurrection but what we could do? be a, a half a dozen people. True, but yeah. the point is. Here's Jesus. But he what, has followers of five thousand people we can take out. So to the I agree, what? but the He's problem here. Man for the Romans. So why would? But that's not what. This is not what Pilate sorry. concludes. Why, why would the disciples no. of Jesus? Why were they shocked when they heard that Jesus risen from the dead? No, no. If, no. Truly, if truly that was, if truly that was, yeah. uh, if that is 
what you lie in the salvation of Jesus that, that you you fall upon the resurrection did, of Jesus that, what, one second why did none of the disciples of Jesus actually say yeah he fulfilled the scripture yeah, I think we're jumping the gun a little I, I, I know, bit I know, but, yeah. but, but he but, lies in the salvation the, the I know but it took time for them to understand the revelation remember Peter the, okay. as I said Peter was, was the most important apostle even he doubted Jesus when Jesus was taken into the um, into the uh, high priest house. When the people come and said, "Oh, you're one of his followers," he said, "No, no, I don't know the man." He was scared. But Jesus, they performed, hadn't seen the. But Jesus performed many miracles. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, but none of the disciples yeah. were shocked because they knew he was the Messiah. Because, yeah. God. But the, why, when it comes to the news of Jesus apparently being risen from the dead, why were they shocked? In fact, in the gospel, he mentions that Peter was going on with his business as a fisherman. Yeah. He, he just moved, they, yeah. they mourned and they moved on because they thought. That, that they had failed. Exactly. So if that, no, but, so, so exactly. then the revelation of the resurrection comes. That's through. precisely the point. So where, so that's the reason why that story had to be concocted because they can't. They, they couldn't. They couldn't explain it. Yeah, they couldn't explain it. Now. Yeah, they, could, they couldn't explain it at the time. Yeah, so, so no, it, it, was, but, it was new revelation to them. They were still getting. It, to can't, no, it's not new revelation. They, they went and it's, it's, away. it's not new revelation because Jesus predicted his death three times. G yeah. and explained the parables exactly, yeah, to them. Exactly. There was and no doubt Jesus in their mind. Said, I, um, I will send the Paraclete to you, and when that, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, that's when they would understand more because that happens at Pentecost. No, that's 50 days. no, 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 no. It was Paul who was there. Yeah. The Paraclete is actually so, can be. Uh, Paul the uh, he, he Marcia, was what's his name? Mar Mar Marcion. Marcion. Marcion, yes. Marcion yeah, Paul. Paul. That, uh, oh, right. Paul yeah. Was yeah. Well, well, obviously, he's, he's not right. <laughs> Look, so I agree with you. Paul is not the Paraclete. Well, Yemeni, he's but, correct. Yeah. You can't say it's a new revelation because yeah. apparently from the gospel, Jesus predicted this death. Mm. Right? But then, if, if the disciples of Jesus believe that Jesus was prophesied in the Old Testament, that he'll be risen on the third day, why should Jewish, Palestinian Jewish followers, why would they say, ah, oh, I doubt Jesus' resurrection when in the Old Testament, apparently according to you, he's prophesied to be risen from the So the Jewish, the Jewish understanding of a Messiah was yes. king. That's why Jesus had that charge against him. He is G Jesus, king of the Jews. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the disciples of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. yeah but that was mockery. It was mockery. Jews, they would expect the Messiah to be a military leader as well, to be able to wipe out the Romans. Was he a military leader according to you, Jesus? No, no, no. And, and this was so the that, mistake. So that this was the mistake that the apostles made, because up until then, they would have had faith that Jesus, would, although he was being arrested, they would have thought, yeah, any moment there, he's going to give the word. His legion of angels will come down and will wipe out the Romans. That's what Jews believed that the was Messiah. It, was it, but Jesus yeah, wasn't hence the apo uh, apocalyptic nature. Like that last one, when you said about no. no nothing being changed in Matthew that there's a, there's a million yeah, there on, on um, the changes on, on uh, the, uh, the yeah the, 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 and they say so like an eye for uh, an eye as well that changes so whatever you wish that others would do to you do also yeah. to them for this is the law and the prophets and there's all these bits above it right up to that first bit so, so there's a, a, a like a mini discourse within the, the Sermon right. on the Mount that's right. that says I've not come to change the prophet the law but this is what it is mm. yeah. and this, that's why it finishes with that last bit yeah. um, but the thing is he does actually others. like he's still telling you but, you have to abide yeah. by that right but it says uh, art and you will be given um, Seeing the, the log in, in your the splinter in your brother's eye, and there's a log yeah. in your own. But did he, did he say? Did he say that? This is that, all that judging. But is, is he abrogating it? Yeah, yes. What he's saying he's is not. what he's saying is, is that the, the Jewish interpretation of the law which was judgmental. It was transactional. No, 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 no. no. This is about no, judge, no, no, not no, no. to be judged. He's giving you a concession, but it doesn't mean that no, he's abrogating. He didn't give any concession. No, Jesus, he didn't. no, no. He told. He you. says that a better virtue is forgiveness, but he doesn't say eye for an eye is an abrogator. Sorry, what, what you're looking at? It doesn't say. Jesus does not say the eye for an eye law is abrogated. He's telling you is a virtue of virtue is forgiveness. Hmm. But he's not saying eye for an eye is abrogated. This is uh, eye for an eye is, is the other yeah. one. Hmm. Um, so he's still telling you you have to abide by the Mosaic law, the 630 mitzvahs. No, 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 no. The, the, the Mosaic law has been fulfilled in Jesus. So no, no, Je he, Jesus says he's not only saying fulfill the Mosaic. Jesus says the law, the law and the prophets were, were in, in in place until John came. He, we, oh, he does we, not say that. Yeah. It's from verse he doesn't say that. Yeah, let me find it. Matthew 5, yeah. Because uh, clearly, when Jesus is saying, you, the, you know the law, I, an eye for an eye, a two for a two, he's not saying... Mm, that's wrong, yeah. That. He's saying a better virtue is forgiven. It's yes. very similar to the Quran. Yeah. Very similar to the Quran that he has been told of the, the eye for an eye, mm. but charity is better than what? Sorry, but no, forgiveness, forgiveness is, better. is better, yeah. 
would help with my smell. It's um, not saying that the eye for an eye, it's completely... The thing is, it's like, the reason why I don't like to talk about the resurrection is because if the crucifixion never happened, then the resurrection, the resurrection didn't happen either. So, like, you know, the thing is, uh, when we even talk about prophecy... So, the, all look, the prophets and the Lord prophesied until John. The law yeah. and the prophets were until John. Since then, the good news of the kingdom of God is preached and everyone forces his way into it. See, that cannot be the case. Is that written? Is that by Jesus? Yeah, that... yeah, so that, that, that's going to be Jesus talking, yeah. Okay, I need to so, look so back at this. Matthew 16. No, that's fine. I need to look back at this, but even, you know, like, let's take it as it is. It still cannot be the case because if he's saying the law was stopped at John, why after John did he continue to preach the law? Exactly. Exactly. What, what laws did he continue? Mosaic to preach? law. Mosaic law. He's where? Where? Even the dietary what, what? law, right? No, Jesus said it's not what goes into a man, folks, it's what comes out. So, so he didn't wash his hands before he, he was eating. That's what it's referring to. It's referring to the cleanliness. But he yeah, didn't. Jesus says you're like whitewashed tombs. You, you clean things on the outside, but no, no, inside you're dead. No, no, he's rebuking re the yeah. condition of the elders. Yes. It's, that's all it is. It's not the law. Which is the innovative practice yeah. that the Jews later on attribute to Mosaic yeah. law. And the thing is, and it's, like, and it's actually, and it's actually weird for Jesus to say, "Don't wash your hands." It, it doesn't matter if you wash your hands. It the Mosaic law gives, gives you instructions on how to wash. Just same, like, just like same as Islam. Yeah, yeah. This is why. This is why. Look, this is why. But Jesus said that doesn't matter. What matters is inside. how can it not matter? Because it's what's inside. Inside that's matters, see? but the outside matters you as well. Can, you can have a discipline of, of washing yourself. That's fine. You just made yourself a clean person, not clean yeah. skin. You know what? Yeah. What's that done to your soul? This is what Jesus. Said. Yeah, Jesus no. is saying what matters is, is inside. No one is disputing that, but to but to make it look like it's only what's in the inside that matters, it's false. It's not what Jesus advocated for. Because if that was the case, he wouldn't advocate for the Mosaic law. No, he, he didn't advocate. He for, did. For Mosaic. He, came, he came as a new covenant, and we are, we are going to a glorified body in the resurrection. No, no. See, again, you're bringing in the theology as opposed to what Jesus was actually saying. When Jesus was preaching, he was constantly preaching the law, which is even why afterwards, when the church was established by, by was John... He, he, was, he was criticizing the hypocrites. Because of the hypocrisy, not because they followed the law. Exactly. It's, because they, it's because they preached the law but did not follow it. So if it, wasn't, if it wasn't about following the law, he wouldn't charge them. He'd be like, you know what, actually they're fine. They don't follow the law. He but he said, charged them for he hypocrisy he because said, of it. As long as your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of so, so, yeah. yeah. so, well, the And the righteousness that is accredited to the people is based on their following of the commandments. In the same way that Abraham, he was, uh, he was given righteousness, or credited all righteousness because he fulfilled all the commandments of God. Every time God commanded him to do something, there, he'd done it. That's what get credited in righteousness. He was credited with righteousness before the Mosaic law. Agreed, but it was still the commandments that of God given to him. Submission. To the the submission. Whenever God commanded him to do something, he did it. Where, where is, where, no, throughout. From, 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 no, not as, not as a set of laws. Plan. I'm not talking about yeah, as a yeah, set of so laws. There's but no, there's no set of laws. Yeah, we're plan. not giving the set of laws uh, to, to, to Abraham, but we are told of what God commanded him to do. Every time, from Genesis 12 to Genesis 25, when he passes away, you never see him disobey God. And that's why God credits him with all righteousness. And I think that's in Genesis 15, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. it's also in, in the later letters yeah. that Paul so, says that. Yeah. He was, he so, was considered, because so, Paul actually yeah. says he, was, he, was, uh, yeah. uh, he had righteousness before the Mosaic law. Yes, that's correct. So, so we have righteousness that can exist before the law. And after the law. We can have righteousness during the Mosaic law. We can have righteousness in the new covenant. The new covenant still is part of the, it still has the law. It fulfills the law. Yeah, naturally. Yeah, but the law... Yeah, because because Jesus, Jesus has come there to fulfill the, the Yeah, but again, it's still about law, commandments. Yeah. It is not about base, sacrifice. Base. The base here, and this is what I said to you, and this is what the Quran actually addresses. The Quran is being very clear. It's about law, legislation. This is why for us, we say, regarding the prophets, we say, to believe in Allah is to believe in the prophets that came to their people and the legislation that they came with. Right? And the scriptures, right? Because that will be part of the scriptures, the legislation will be part of the scriptures. So we said the books, the angels, because the angels supported the prophets, the divine, what do you call it, the divine decree, God, God's power and, and decision overrules all, and the day of judgment, right? So uh, I'm missing one. Oh, well, Allah, obviously, Allah, the prophets, the books, the angels, the day of judgment, and the divine decree, whether it's good or bad, right? So. That is what you find. These six pillars of, e of faith that you find in Islam, you would find it throughout the mission of every single prophet. 
So this is what we say that our religion, what we have done, or what the sorry, sorry, what the Prophet peace be upon him came with, is what Jesus peace be upon him came with. Jesus peace be upon him came with something that brought the Jews back to the straight path to re-establish what was taught by the previous prophets that they belied and killed. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi when he came, he came for the, all of mankind to come to return to that message, to return to the belief in God, the belief in the prophets, the belief in the scriptures, to belief the belief in um, the angels that supported the prophets and that are still among us the divine decree and the day of judgment yeah, so, so we, we, we believe in most of that we just we disagree in, in what the new covenant is you're saying that there's not a new covenant that it takes us back to the old covenant we're not we're, we acknowledge the new covenant but we are disagreeing with what the covenant is. You say the covenant is the death and resurrection of Christ for, you, for the remission of sins. Yeah. We're saying that the new covenant was the Injil. The Injil itself. The gospel itself was the new covenant because it abrogated. No, a, book, a book can't be an agreement. No, but, you know what a covenant is. Yeah, it's an agreement. It's a contract. Yeah, but, but more than that, it's, 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 it's your, your soul. When, when they used to do covenants... It's, it, all about, it's all about your soul at the end of the day. When, when they used to do covenants in, in the Old Testament, yes. they would slaughter animals and walk through the middle of them to say, like, that's what happened to me if I break this covenant, I'll be eternally damned, all those sorts yeah. of things. It, it's, 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 you're, you're right, it is a type of, of, of agreement, it's, but yeah. it's much more than that, much, much more than agreement. Yeah, it's an agreement um, based on... It's, it's, a salvific, it it's a salvific agreement. It's yeah, an agreement. Yeah, yeah. It's an agreement for your salvation. Yeah. So, so it's not a, a written book. You can't have a written book because lots of people can read. I can read the Quran. We didn't say it was a written book. You, you said it was a, the, the angel that was given to Jesus. It was given to Jesus, but we don't say it was written. It was a, it was a book in book form. The Torah was in in tablet form. We know that for sure. So the, the angel was given to Jesus in yeah. written form, but not a book. No, no, we don't know. We don't know. We, because because whenever whenever the Quran speaks of yeah because when the Quran the Quran speaks about the Injil and he speaks about what Isa alayhi salam preached he doesn't say about the the Kitab when he mentions the Kitab he mentions to Moses when he mentions Isa alayhi salam he mentions the Injil I don't recall anywhere in the Quran it refers to Injil as Kitab the Christians not people of the book yeah? then they are people of the book so Kitab doesn't Kitab doesn't just mean a, a book. Right, it means it means revelation, right? It's another law, record, law, yeah, law, yeah, law, record, revelation. It doesn't just mean a book, right? So this is why when we say about the Quran as well, we say the Quran is known as Kitab, but when but then we say about Abu Bakr that he is the he's the one that is uh, most um, after the Prophet peace be upon him, of course, but he's the one most credited with the Quran because he was the first one to put it in between two masahif, yeah, between two book covers. So we make a distinction. So kitab can mean book, yes, uh, because like we refer to we refer to um, the the Torah as a book, kitab as well. But reality, it was it was brought down as tablets, not a book. And it says in uh, in the Quran as well, Suhufi Ibrahim wa Musa, the scrolls of Abraham and, Mo and, and Moses. So again, it's not a book, it's a scroll. So we make a dis we, the the word kitab has many connotations. Uh, Moses 316 laws that, that the Jews have to follow. Yeah. Were they in a book or 613? Six, 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 no, that was yeah. the oral. Oral law. They was all oral. And, and he, he decided that the, the people who have been wandering through the desert for 40 years could, could take this and, and it would all sink in orally. No, I mean, look, they can, they can, they can get that. They can understand all 630. Following the laws, you're never going to do it perfectly. Yeah, there's a difference between knowing the law and following the law. Following the law, even us Muslims. Point about having a book is, is I, can, I can read the Quran. No, but I don't think they recorded it. I, I can read all the Quran and still at the end of it say, no, I don't believe it. Yeah, you so, could. So, so just reading the book doesn't give me salvation. I, I've got. No, to you have to my, believe in it. In yeah. my heart, to believe. God is changing in my heart. Agreed. And this was the problem with, with a lot of the, the Jews, like you say in your Quran, they twisted scripture on their lips. Yep. So Jesus calls them out for saying things like, you know, um, you, you use the uh, Corban uh, rule, whereby instead of giving uh, looking after your parents, you can say, no, I'm dedicated to the temple. Mm -hmm. Because obviously you're going to get great prestige dedicating mm -hmm. something to the temple, but your real duty is to your mother and father. Mm -hmm. That should be written on your heart. So although you, you've written, you've, you've followed the written laws, you know, as they've said, mm -hmm. that's not what God intended. God intended it to be in your heart. And naturally. Yeah. But Allah, look, Allah has always wanted three things from the people in terms of displaying their faith. The belief in the heart, the testification of the tongue, and the action of the limbs. 
always, right? Every, so this is why we agree with you. The belief has to be in the heart. But this is why we testify to what's true. But we have to also testifying on if it's on, like James says, you know, our belief is nothing without works, right? So you have to, if you, if you truly I'll believe something, <laughs> if we, if I'll make you a Muslim, inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. May Allah guide you. May Allah guide you and us as well. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Bring out James. That's what we're, we're Catholics. <laughs> yeah. But uh, look, like I said, we can find truth. We can find truth in the New and the Old Testament. Well, we simply, this is not the scripture for us because it is no longer the original revelation. And even if it were to be the original revelation, it is not the revelation for us. Exactly. Okay. We are not the children of Israel. So for us, there is a scripture. There is a scripture that Allah has brought down specifically for us. And that's the Quran. Yeah. And it's through the, the message of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet really Muhammad. Really good talk to you. Likewise. I've really enjoyed this. Same as well. Nice to meet you both. Yeah, nice to Sorry, meet you. Right, right. 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 Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Good to talk to you. Likewise. We haven't convinced each other. I'm no. still Christian, you're still Muslim. But let's have another talk. But it was beneficial. Yeah. It was beneficial. Right. Yeah. Very All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Right. Take care. Thank you. Oh, oh Alhamdulillah. Do you want to join in? <laughs> I'll stand it. Five. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. It is a rarity that we find uh, the people of the book to that sort of caliber, where we can discuss deep theological topics in a respectful manner. And Alhamdulillah, I think this discussion, what is done, is display how much the Quran is aware of the previous traditions. Because whenever we spoke about the tradition of the Jews and the Christians, there was always an ayah that refer to it. And of course, with the knowledge that we have in the 21st century, the age of information, we managed to bridge the gap between the two scriptures and expand upon what the Quran is saying. But it shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the, the author of the Quran, for he is the one who is aware of all the histories. While we ourselves, we have to do the research and dig up things that have been lost for thousands of years. So Allah, he is the witness. And therefore, we acknowledge the Quran as his scripture and his verbatim word. And this is why we believe in it. This is our evidence. Wa hada. Wa salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I mean, where you at as well? May Allah guide you. May Allah guide you. Okay. That was a very good discussion. That was. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go home. Well, everything else is going to go downhill from here. It's very rare now. Yeah. Have these problems. Yeah. The good thing is, he has a grounding knowledge on his yeah. theology, on yes. his religion, which is easy to have a discussion. And he's about. honest. And he's honest. He's honest. He's sincere. I ask, yeah, we ask Allah to guide him, man. Um, I mean. Can't use a corrupted claim to just the Okay. Why are you corrupt? Yeah, same here, but free. they always leave me with the mics. And then I'm like, they trust you, bro. Give him all the money. Should I run? Should I run? I'll leave it down to you, bro. Yeah. But, I'll leave it down to you, bro. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Well, uh, the new covenant. It's, um,. My wife was asking you, did you see Yemni last week? I said, I didn't see him. Yeah, no, I was in here last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now she asked me, you know, because she knows the name, you know. Mm. <laughs> and because I watch all these videos and everything. So yeah. She knows from there. Oh, okay. So how everything. Alhamdulillah. You can even You don't know. Oh, he's still there. Still picking up. Ah, hey, which one?